Hi guys, how you doing? Welcome back. I'm Sim UK. This is the bus. That guy freaked me out. I'm trying to talk to this lady and you're walking through the door. What the hell is wrong with you? This is the bus. Quite literally, this is the bus. Uh, this is sensational. I'm just going to add a little keybind in here actually. Uh, let's go controls, strafe. I'm going to add an axis. It's going to be this one. And it's going to be this one. I'm going to accept that, accept back, unpause it. And now I can sort of walk sideways around the edge of the bus here. You can't see very much because it's early in the morning and I haven't yet figured out uh, how to uh, make it later in the day. There's somebody there. I am so sorry. Or is that me? I think that's me. Yeah. Oh, you can go third person. Look. That's not, that's not a good walking animation, <laughs> but I don't care. I really don't care. Right, this is the bus. Let's get on, let's drive this. I've already driven this route once. And I'm just gonna do it again because I absolutely loved it. Uh, you know what's going on? I've got too much light coming in through the flipping window. Let me go deal with that. All righty, that's fixed it, good stuff. Reset my view some lights on the go high beam low beam look at the lights even the lights are brilliant in this game right first thing we need to do and I've forgotten the name of this is just enter our details current tour number is eight five seven one zero that's our setup and break off uh, I forgot what my gears are we're into drive and we are away ladies and gentlemen we are away just need to uh there you go just adjust my head tracking ever so slightly so that i can see that rear view mirror or side view mirror a little easier so if you haven't seen my previous video i urge you to go look at it it's my first look this is my second look so i don't have to set up all the keybinds and stuff crazy son of a bitch You'll get that, you'll get that, people cutting you up. And for me, that's incredible because it feels so realistic. People do drive like that. Another thing you'll discover um, is that because this is mapped one-to-one, -one, the feeling of speed or the sense of speed that you get really matches the speed you're doing. It's quite uncanny. I don't think I've seen that before. This is an alpha. You can see in the top right behind my camera it says in development, top left it says the bus alpha. Thank you so much to TML for including me in this. I I really genuinely wasn't expecting it so I'm, I feel incredibly privileged to be a part of this um, and I think it's wonderful. There's a few things that need changing on the most part it's faultless. The driving experience, the traffic, the lighting, the scenery is going to blow your minds. Um, but the sat nav, a little bit broken. Oh, actually, can I zoom out? Oh no. I think I got that bound to two different things. And the braking on the bus is a little bit too aggressive right now. Something here for map. Map, 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 map. Map, map, map. Uh, maybe it's in general. Yeah, there it is. So the world map, I'll put on that. And then hopefully, I'll be able to zoom the... There we go. So I've got some zoom control over the sat-nav now. You can see that my sat-nav route has disappeared temporarily. It does that. Um, it's, it is in alpha. Um... It just, I, I don't know why it does it. I haven't figured it out. But it just kind of shuts off every now and then. And now I'm not sure if I'm going straight across or going left here. So it's a bit of a problem. If I bring up my big map. Oh, it doesn't look like the big map is working right now. Oh, yes it is. Oh, so I've got to stop just behind me. Hang on. Am I there or am I there? This must be me here. So I'm actually going left 
to this stop here. Okay, cool. All right. All right. So we need to get in that lane. Beautiful. Oh man, this is just blowing my mind. It is so good. There is so much detail. There's more detail than I can talk about. The eye candy is ridiculous. There's also, I have a bit of a problem with um, roadworks because uh, all the flashy lights on the roadworks flash at the same time and it just, I don't like it. It doesn't look natural. And I mean, I mean, bear in mind, okay, that I'm trying to tell you some some of the issues because I'm an analyst. I analyse the game. I'm trying to tell you what some of the issues are, um, and that's the best I can come up with. That's how good this game is. I've got to look at this again. Okay, we're on the right tracks. Because I have no sat nav whatsoever at the moment, which is a bit of a problem. I'm hoping when I stop at the next stop, um, it might start again, but we'll see. We'll see how it goes. I'm also hoping it does show me where the where I'm supposed to be stopping, because I've got no idea. Oh yeah, it's coming up, I can see it. And you're gonna, you, this, oh man, I'm, I'm tired. I am tired because I'm overwhelmed by how good this game is. There's so much good stuff to tell you about. Just putting the aircon on. I've got to put that on a button actually. I'm sure some passengers will be asking me for it in a minute. Okay, handbrake on, doors open. You can see I'm miles away from the stop, but they all walk over, they all get on. And you can see them walking in, down the, down the bus, finding themselves a seat and sitting down. It's brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. Honestly, they've done such a good job here. break off and go it's a bit quirky this corner because the guys on the right want to pull out and the guys on the left don't want to stop it will challenge your driving skills but everything seems perfectly in proportion which is awesome another thing you'll notice is that people walk through trees and lampposts and stuff like that I don't know if that's going to change in alpha in all honesty I don't care. I don't care if they're gaining some sort of FPS performance out of doing that. It doesn't bother me at all. It feels realistic. It feels lived in. I still got no sat nav. I've just got to stay on this for a little while. It's going to be tricky. And you can see there, I, I took my foot off the accelerator because I felt like I was going a little bit too fast. Look at the speedo, I'm bang on the speed limit. It just feels so right. I haven't really tweaked, no, I haven't tweaked anything in terms of uh, steering setup. This is a G29, crappy old Logitech. Uh, the pedals set up, installation, straightforward. Once I figured out that I pulled the cable out of the G29. Um, yeah, installation was absolutely seamless. The steering feels right straight off the bat. Last night when I first got the key, I just loaded it up, jumped on my keyboard and mouse, and even that feels good. The only issue I had with that is that the braking is too aggressive. But then that 
seems to be a thing across the board, so uh, I will be providing feedback to TML and hopefully they'll look into it and see uh, if there's something uh, that needs to be done and uh, if so I'm sure they'll do it. Plus, so far, I mean I'm a bit distracted by all the eye candy and the driving and such, I haven't seen a single vehicle spawn in, or a person for that matter, or spawn out. It just seems to be working so well. It's amazing. And there's no multiplayer, I think, at the moment, but there's evidence that it's here. There's evidence that it exists. We've got in-game chat and stuff. Oh man, this is so good. I'm not sure if this is the same route I drove earlier. This might be a different route. Literally my second drive. Good morning, good morning. Check everybody's off the bus. I'm staying. I'm in the bus lane. I'm staying. Oh no, the bus lane goes left. So I need to come across here. Check the world map because I actually I have no sat nav at the moment. It seems a bit quirky. So one. Oh dear, I'm gonna t I'm gonna have to turn off left at some point. Woo. Get them brakes on. Shall I drive a route in third person? Would you guys like to see that? It's going to be quite tricky for me to drive, but you'll get to see the scenery a hell of a lot more. I'll try it. I'll try it for a bit. I mean, I don't imagine anyone's going to drive in this view in, you know, if you buy the game, I imagine you're going to go first person. But uh, I just think you can see so much more of the scenery in third person. I really hope my microphone and everything is working properly today. I'm going to be absolutely distraught if it isn't. I think there's a little bit of work that needs to be done with the audio, but what's here for an alpha is um, more than acceptable. It's quite impressive, actually. And the road markings, that's what's getting me. The, the road markings seem so good, so correct and so accurate. I totally got that wrong. Totally got that wrong. not easy driving in third person, it's a lot easier in first. Handbrake on, doors open. Nobody wants a ticket, that's good. Handbrake off. I just need to have a check of the map. So we're going to have to do a right and then a left in a second. That's going to be tricky, I think. Hopefully I'll see the bus stop pop up on the sat-nav and I can... Uh,
I've got so many things jumping through my mind right now, I can't focus properly. So many things I want to tell you, so many videos I want to plan for in the future. I feel like this is a different route to the one I drove earlier. It doesn't feel familiar in any way. I don't know, this bit feels a bit familiar. Oh my god, driving in third person is so hard! <laughs> There may not be anybody here. One dude, okay, that's fine. Does he want a ticket? Does Polly want a cracker? Okay. Again though, without my sat now. We have to resort to the uh, map. So we're going to go off left at some point up here. Just look at this stretch of road here. Look how far into the distance you can see. I'm running everything on Epic, by the way. I'm speeding like an idiot. Just so impressive. I mean, look at the detail on everything. The trees look good. That cathedral or water tower or whatever it is looks good. The bushes in the middle of the road look good. Uh, the, the office buildings look good. The apartments look good. Everything just looks so good. It's so impressive what they've done. I, it's way beyond what I was expecting. It's everything I hoped for, and more than I expected. Right, is this our turn coming up? Next one. Uh, yeah, next one. So we're going to get over into this lane because I think we're going to need to be coming across. Wow, look how close the AI got to the uh, truck there. Now this is something I, I, said, I think I said this in my previous video, I don't know. But you can get so close to the AI before they freak out. Which is brilliant. And it's something that really impressed me with Fernbus when it first came out. Over time it kind of got worse. But they seem to have nailed it here, which is brilliant. I don't know about you, I think those trees are maybe swaying a little bit too much. I 
Oh man, this, oh, I'm just so blown away by this. I don't want to talk to you anymore. I just, do you know what I mean? I'm enjoying it that much. I just want to shut up and just enjoy it. I just want to play the game. It's not a game, it's a simulator. I just want to enjoy this simulation experience and not have to talk to you guys. And I'm sorry, I, I don't mean that disrespectfully. I just, I, I'm so overwhelmed by it. I just want to, I just want to enjoy it myself. I want to be greedy. <laughs> I want to be greedy and selfish and not share it with you. But at the same time, in the same vein, I do want to share it with you. And it's kind of frustrating that I'm, you know, in an alpha position where I can't share any footage with anybody. It's, it's incredible. Incredible. Although I'd appreciate it if my bloody sat-nav worked. Okay, just carry on regardless. And so far, I haven't seen any silly little quirky game things. Do you know what I mean? It's just everything simulated realistically. There's a few lighting issues. You can see the side of the van is flickering and, and stuff like that. But um, it's an alpha. If, if that's the biggest problem you've got in alpha, <laughs> you've got no problems. Now this van should peel off to the right and we should be able to peel off into the bus lane here. So we'll see how well this is going to work. There's been no problems with the traffic at all so far. I know it's early morning and there's not much about, but um, I got the drop on him. I, I think maybe I was close enough to him to make him panic. But you have to get pretty close to the AI to make them stop. I haven't seen any AI buses yet. That's the only thing that that is maybe missing in terms of traffic. Oops. Oh, I think I just got out of my seat. Completely by accident. And I haven't had to give a single ticket yet, which is... Uh, a little odd. All right, where are we going? Remind me. Straight on and then a double right. So guys, if you've been waiting for a realistic um, bus simulator with realistic graphics, detailed realistic physics, um, an environment that you can just immerse yourself in, then this is it. It has finally arrived. TML have done it. I'm so pr proud, I was going to say proud to say that. You know, I've been on the TML uh, team. I, I don't mean like I'm part of the team. <laughs> I don't work with TML, I don't work for TML or anything like that, but, you know, I, I could tell there was something about TML really special right from the beginning. Um, and they've exceeded my expectations. Am I a fanboy? I bloody am now. And you're going to be as well. I think, I've, I think I've been a fanboy of TML for a long time. But that's never stopped me from criticising them. I mean, this is the most incredible simulator I think I've ever played. And yet, I can still find a few areas where it needs some work. And I'm, I'm not loathed 
to tell you. You know, I will be honest and say what I see and try and give uh, suggestions for improvements and stuff. I have no problem with that. And what's really refreshing is that TML don't either. You know, they are, they'll listen if it's something they agree with and it's something they can do something about, they'll do it. And that's how it should be. And for a lot of companies, it's not. For a lot of companies, if you if you find criticism, constructive criticism or suggestions for improvements to the game, they just consider you a, a pain in the ass and they'll ignore you completely. The TML don't do that. The TML have never done that. And a lot of people have been really critical of TML and they just they take it on the chin. They're, they're like, okay, you know, not everybody's going to like what we're doing, but we're passionate about what we're doing. We're trying to do the best job we can. And they've pushed and they've pushed and they've pushed and they've worked really hard. And wow, just look what they've produced, guys. It's, it's incredible. It's incredible. I'm going right here. Am I going right here? I think I'm going right here. I am going right here. It's going to make all that much more difficult by this car. And driving in third person, which makes it even more difficult again. Please don't crash. We're good. Absolutely golden. I haven't been checking if anyone wanted tickets at all. I hope I'm going the right way. Two stops and then the third one's on a turn. Okay, I'll try and remember that. Cool, that was a bit scary. Wow, I really thought someone would want a ticket by now. That's not one ticket I've sold. I'm wondering if... I'm wondering if perhaps I screwed up the route somehow. And, um... I don't know. I mean, if, if nothing else, then this proves that driving in third person is possible. I don't recommend it, and I'm speeding again, quite a lot actually. Quince Morgan, good morning, 
Good morning. I don't speak German, by the way, you may have noticed. Something I keep meaning to uh, correct, actually. As always, let me know in the comments section what you think of the game. Ah, right. So coming up, we've got some uh, some roadworks. And you see how every single one of those flashy lights flashes at the same time. In, in Britain, I don't think that ever happens. And it's kind of weird. I don't like it. I'm kind of anti it. I'd rather they were a bit more... Uh, Random. They might have some sort of knock-on effect with FPS or whatever, which might be why they've done it that way, but that's definitely one thing I'd, I'd like to see changed. It just doesn't look right. Even if that's how it's done in, in Germany, it just it weirds me out. So I was miles away just looking at the hexagonal lights that are there. You can see there's a car parked really close to the bus stop. I'm having to sort of squeeze in as best I can and then open the doors. Still no tickets. Really? So I think we're, uh, yeah, we're on the home stretch now. Nice, easy finish. It's quite impressive, really, uh, that you can drive this well in third person. It's not something I've done ever. Well, Maybe on the PlayStation 1 when I was playing Gran Turismo, but since then, I don't think ever. I don't think I ever drive in third person. Come on, lights! Thank you. Look how well the AI are behaving around me. That just looks so realistic. And you will get idiots cutting you up and pulling in front of you and changing lanes and getting in your way. All this stuff happens. It's all here. Oh, somebody put some money down. Uh, yep, can't remember my buttons. Come on, dude. There we go. First one. Uh, ticket AB, single ticket AB. That's three dollars. Thank you very much. Three dollars? Three euros, my friend.
incredible game. Incredible simulator, not a game. This is far better than a game. Look at the traffic. Look how well that's done. See that guy there would have totally cut me up if uh, if I'd have been there when he wanted to turn. And that's good. Hopefully you would have indicated before doing it, and I could have got out of the way, but uh, yeah, you gotta got to have your wits about you. The traffic is brilliant. Traffic, traffic is really impressive. Look at that, how incredible does that look? I'm not sure if this is our last stop, there might be one more. Oh, final stop is the next one. Uh, oh, what does he want? Single ABC. 380, there you go sir, 20 cents change, thank you so much. So this is the final stop guys coming up, I hope you've enjoyed this. Um, I don't think I'll be driving in third person again. Uh, it's it's perfectly doable, but it's not really my, my, uh, my jam. I'd much rather be in the cockpit driving in first person. But uh, I'm quite impressed. Um, you know, it is possible to drive in third person. I didn't think I'd be able to do it. So, yeah, very impressive stuff. Can't see where I'm going. And here we go, guys. The final stop. What a brilliant little transition it's been. I've really enjoyed it. I hope you have. So that everybody get off the bus. And uh, all I can say is thank you so much for watching. Please leave comments, like the video. Come and join us again in the next one. I'm going to click this this time. Absolutely amazing. Editors, line and route, timetable and tour, shift schedule. Oh my God. Oh yeah, we can add. We can add to the route. 
we can double up the route so we can make it there and back. Oh man. Spec bloody tacular. I'm just hoping the GPS works. So now it's a 55 minute duration. There is so much cool stuff coming in this game. I'm so excited. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I really appreciate it. Join me in the next one. Take care. Till then, goodbye.